All right, all right. Are you guys ready to discuss some NFL football game? Yes, sir. I've been waiting on this. Before we... Hey, can you start with the mind first? Before we predict the NFL division round weekend, uh, we want to do an NFL wild card recap. Uh, Demond, do you want to start off with your Rams and Seahawks game, or do you want to go by game by game so you can build enough uh, endurance for Jalen's uh, trash talking? <laughs> let me go ahead and get, get my piece out the way. Jalen, you want to start for our convo? Go ahead. Rams. No, I have nothing. Rams. I, have nothing. I, I want to hear what you have to say. Well, um, Wait, but before you go, John, uh, Demond, my bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, the Rams defeat the Seahawks 30 to 20 on Super Wild Card Weekend on Saturday. Demond, take it away. Um, very frustrated into the season for my Seattle Seahawks. Um, watching the game, I never, I didn't feel any excitement. I knew what type of game this was going to be. I just felt, um, in the fourth quarter, Russ was going to be able to make it happen. And, uh, the, the script of the game was not hey. what you would want it for a Seahawks fan. Um, even after the pick six coming back and throwing the touchdown to DK, it was 13 to 10. Uh, but the defense broke. Cam Akers had his best game of his young career and when they needed it most. And um, that defense is elite. There's no ifs and nuts, if ands, or buts about it. And, um, I mean, we just lost the game. Uh, I felt like the Rams came, they played, they uh, showed why, you know, I believe they were – the defense was always going to play that way after the, the uh, game-clinching, division-clinching – drive that Russ went on in week 16 they were going to come back pissed off and they and they did that Aaron Donald with two sacks Jalen Ramsey did not was on DK Metcalf and we know how locked down he's been and um just a disappointment into the season for my Seahawks uh post game thoughts I think the Rams do have a chance to beat the Packers this week I've talked all the week all year about the Packers is not facing a physical challenge and you can't get more physical than this on the defensive side of the ball in the league right now. So we'll see how they respond to that. And Cam Akers is going to get 20, 25 carries in this game. And I believe that's a recipe for success that will open up some things for in the past game for Jared Goff, but it's going to be cold and uh, we'll see how he reacts to getting hit if he gets hit yep. and many different things for them. But for my Seahawks, man, uh, we fired uh, offensive coordinator, uh, Brian Schottenheimer, and I believe the things that held him back were two high safety looks, his response to that, and Pete Carroll's unwillingness to let him be free. So now Russ gave his uh, his post game. He waited a couple couple weeks, gave his end of the season presser, and today talked about how um, you know pressure. He this is a quote that he said from there: "Pressure is a privilege. We got to put our foot down on the gas, no matter how we do it." I think we should score 24 points before the half. Get ahead. We can do that. No, ma no matter how we do it, let's go win. Let's start early. So the philosophy is what some people have been talking about is Pete Carroll. And he came out and said in his end of season presser that he wanted to get the run game going. Uh, Chris Carson's contract is up. Uh, we really don't have a lot as far as money draft picks with the trade of Jamal Adams. So it's a lot that goes into improving. We still have a lot of good pieces, and um, it'll be interesting to see how they put it together, who they want to bring in. I've heard um, many different people. Um, they want to get the 49ers run game coordinator. They want to be able to do things starting with the run and open up, and, I, and I, I like that strategy because not that it was a lot of pressure on Russ, but the run game was more non-existent this year than it has ever been for the Seahawks, except for the year that they didn't make the playoffs. Um, and Russ was the lead in rusher. So a lot is going into the season to see what they could do. Maybe Travis Etienne or Najee Harris slipped in the draft. We trade up. It depends. It, it remains to be seen what's going to happen. But this team, as it is right now, they've got to make some changes. Uh, it's going to start with the offensive coordinator, and we'll see where it goes. But definitely a disappointing season's end for my Seahawks. I had a question, but you answered it for me. Jalen, what is your question? Because I know you got one. I didn't have anything, man. Just Super Bowl or bust. And not really worry about nobody else. No kidding. I just remember everything he was saying. Hmm. Oh, you know, just and try to tell people, man. It's like, they don't want to listen. But, you know, y'all had a great season, man. I had 12 wins on the season. So, 
you know, there's a lot to be happy about with that. You won the division as well. So congrats on that. But, you know, defense and being able to run the ball, you got to have it. Now, moving on. How old are you? What does my age have to do with the podcast? And, and the Answer the question. How old are you? I would prefer to not reveal those such things. <laughs> yeah, boy. Do you realize your team is in the playoffs for the first time in 15 years? Yeah, since 07, we have a playoff win. Do y'all have a playoff win? Because we're playing in a divisional this week. Are you guys? I didn't think so. Yeah. <laughs> 